Exo-Air Fluid Applied Membranes are part of a system of products that are designed as a holistic continuous system. This application video will walk you through the installation of Exo-Air 120. The following products are recommended for use with the Exo-Air 120 system. Diamonic 100 is a one-part moisture-curing gun-grade polyurethane sealant used for sealing cracks, control joints, and for use in forming cans. ExoAir LEF is a single component, CFC-free, all-season high-performance gun-grade polyurethane foam that performs as a thermal barrier. ExoAir Primer is specifically formulated for use with the ExoAir line of air barrier systems, ensuring compatibility with all components required to create the full assembly. It can be applied to common construction substrates using a brush or roller. ExoAir 110AT is a composite 24 mil sheet designed for use as the membrane or as a component of an air barrier system. Exterior sheathing panels can be detailed using Dimonic 100 high performance polyurethane sealant. Dimonic 100 is the approved sealant for detailing all board joints and fastener heads. Apply sealant to board joints. When intersecting horizontal and vertical joints, make sure to apply the sealant so no holes or gaps appear. Spot all fastener heads with sealant 1 16th of an inch thick and 1 inch in diameter, just enough to completely cover the fastener heads. Building designs are more complex than ever. Few have a simple rectangular shape. This means you have to detail inside corners. Start by centering bond breaker tape and applying directly to the inside corner. Press it into place. Apply a bead of Dimonic 100 sealant directly on top of the bond breaker tape. Tool the sealant smooth and extend at least one quarter inch beyond the edges of the bond breaker tape. The tape breaks the bond of the sealant to avoid three-sided adhesion to accommodate for building movement. Just like a building's inside corners, connections at outside corners also require detailing. Using a standard nozzle, apply beads of Dimonic 100 sealant to the panel's face on each side of the corner. Using a trowel, spread the sealant toward and over the corner joint. Make sure the exposed core is completely covered without holes or gaps. Use a mill gauge to make sure you've applied the correct amount of sealant. 40 wet mills. Feather the outer edges of the sealant's perimeter on the panel's face to remove any thick areas of sealant. Expansion joints accommodate inevitable building movement. They're designed to absorb the expansion and contraction of construction materials. Expansion joints have to be detailed because, just like detailing standard board joints, it is required for continuity of the air barrier system. Using a standard caulk gun, apply a 1 quarter inch bead of Dimonic 100, the approved sealant for detailing panels, to each side of the joint. Next, tightly press 26 gauge brake metal into the sealant, fitting over each corner of the panels. The sealant should bleed out slightly. Fasten the brake metal to the panel using the same fasteners that connected the panels to the framing. You don't have to detail the fastener heads with additional sealant. Friction fit backer rod into the joint 1 quarter inch to 1 half inch from the face of the panel. Apply a bead of Dimonic 100 sealant over the backer rod and fill the joint completely. Tool the sealant so it's flush and slightly concave and connects to both sides of the brake metal. Penetrations through walls must be detailed to create a continuous air barrier around a building envelope. These penetrations include plumbing pipes and vents and electrical fixtures, wires, and conduits. Start by filling these gaps around the penetrations with Tremco's XO Air Low Expanding Foam. Be sure to fill in the gap with foam so it expands slightly beyond the face of the panel. Give the low expanding foam about 30 minutes to cure. It should be dried to the touch. With a utility knife, trim the foam flush with the panel's face. Next, apply a large bead of Dimonic 100 sealant over the foam. Tool the sealant over the foam, down onto the face of the panel, and onto the penetration, extending a minimum one quarter inch onto both the panel surface and penetration. Ensure there are no holes or gaps in the sealant. Rough openings are detailed in a similar fashion as outside corners. 
On the face of the exterior sheathing, apply beads of Dimonic 100 sealant in a 2-inch wide zigzag pattern around the perimeter of the panel's rough opening. In the same manner, apply the sealant to the sill, jams, and head. Using a trowel, spread the sealant toward and over the corner joints for the sill, jams, and head. Feather the outer edges of the sealant's perimeter on the panel's face to remove any thick areas of sealant. Use a mill gauge to make sure you've applied 40 wet mills. If not, reapply more sealant. When your project includes exterior sheathing in concrete or concrete masonry units, the transition must be detailed to ensure air barrier continuity. This is achieved by properly detailing the transition. First, friction fit backer rod into the gap between substrates. It should be recessed no more than a half inch. Using a standard caulk gun, apply a bead of Dimonic 100 sealant onto the backer rod. Tool the bead smooth and slightly concave so it extends from the panel's edge to the adjacent substrate. Using a roller or sprayer, apply the ExoAir 120 fluid membrane to the adjacent substrate, over the sealant, and onto the face of the panel. Finish applying the ExoAir 120 fluid membrane to the remaining adjacent substrate. ExoAir 120 is applied at 60 wet mills to achieve 40 dry mills on exterior sheathing, and concrete substrates require 70 wet mills to achieve 35 dry. When it comes to properly enclosing a building envelope, transitioning from below grade to the vertical wall is equally important. Start by priming the below grade waterproofing membrane with Tremco's Epoxy Primer. Roll the primer a minimum of three inches onto the waterproofing membrane. Insert backer rod into the gap between the panel and the below grade foundation. It should be recessed a maximum of one half inch. Using a standard caulk gun, apply a bead of Dimonic 100 sealant over the backer rod and tool smooth so it extends from the panel to the below grade membrane. Roll or spray ExoAir 120 fluid membrane onto the face of the panel over the sealant and onto the epoxy primer, a minimum of three inches. Detailing expansion joints with brake metal and Dimonic 100 is one option. Using ProGlaze ETA connections and Spectrum 1 is a second option. Start by inserting backer rod in the joint so it's flush with the panel's face. Apply sufficient sealant to the edges of the SecureRock XO Air panel. The ProGlaze ETA silicone material has a smooth and ribbed side. Center and press the ProGlaze ETA over the joint so the ribbed side makes contact with the Spectrum 1 sealant to achieve a 1-inch surface contact on both sides of the joint. Using a roller, press the ProGlaze ETA into the sealant so that the sealant slightly extends past the edges of the ETA material. Detailing rough openings with Dimonic 100 is the recommended application. Using ExoAir 110AT is a second option. Cut pieces of the ExoAir 110AT into a bow tie shape, 6 inches long, 3 inches wide at each end, and 1 inch wide at the center. Remove the release paper and apply bow ties to each corner where the jams, sill, and head meet. Press firmly and roll into the corners and onto the face of the panel to remove air bubbles. Next, cut a strip of ExoAir 110AT 6 inches longer than the sill. Fold it in half and cut a 3 inch slit on each end along the fold. Remove the release liner and position half the strip on the sill while folding down the other half onto the face of the exterior sheathing. Press the inside cut edges up onto each jam. In the same manner, cut strips of ExoAir 110AT 6 inches longer than the height of the jams. Fold and cut 3 inches at the ends of the strip along the fold. Next, apply it to the jams, overlapping the material already installed on the jams. In the same way, cut a final strip 6 inches longer than the head. Then, fold and cut the edges and position the head flashing last so it's shingled over the ExoAir 110AT on the jams. 
Always install the Exo Air 110AT in this order to ensure proper shingling. Roll to smooth out any fish mouths or air pockets in the membrane. Apply a small detail amount of Dimonic 100 sealant to all seams and along the outer perimeter of the Exo Air 110AT. Using a mill gauge, make sure at least 60 wet mills of the Exo Air 120 membrane have been applied to the reinforcing mesh. For complete application instructions, including cleanup tips, alternate methods, and common industry application issues, please visit our website at www.tremcosealants.com.